I wrote this story because I felt like I saw a lot of children that were different. You know, when you look in your classroom, we see faces of all sorts of different children from different cultures, and all cultures should be celebrated. But this little girl, she was born different, and her name was Shu Layem. Can you say that? Shu Layem. Good. That means many stars. A long time ago, in the village of Ahashimai, there lived a little girl. And her name was Shulayen. And Shulayen was special. Even when she was in the kicha, her mother would lay inside that kicha and she would rub her tummy when she had her baby in her belly. And she would count the stars in the sky. It was her favorite thing to do. She loved the night sky. And when she had her baby, oh, she couldn't believe it, that her little girl had little markings all over her face that looked like the night sky. Oh, you probably call them freckles. But a long time ago, in the village of Ahashimai, this little girl was the first one. And that little girl was so beautiful. Well, when that little girl grew up to be about that tall, she found her voice. Uh, but her voice didn't find her ear. <laughs> and when she would sing, she sounded like this. Yahane, Yahane. Oh my goodness, all the children would run from the village. Even the, the, all the animals would all go around and, and get out of the village. And even the skunk would come around to see what was going on. Her voice. <laughs> But as that little girl got a little bit bigger, her voice found her ear. And when she sang, everyone loved it. Yahane, 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 Naena, Yahane, Naena, Yahane, Naena. And the rabbits came to her feet, and the deer nuzzled her elbow, and the badger came out of his hole. <gasps> And the dragonfly came around and it swirled around and it only ever landed on Shulayam. You see, in a California tradition, when a dragonfly lands on you, it means that you have a good heart. And Shulayam had a good heart. Oh my goodness, she was there when someone would fall. She was there when someone had tears. She was a good little girl that had a good heart. But there was a little boy in the village, and he didn't have a good heart. He had a coyote spirit, and he didn't like that the dragonfly never landed on him. So one day, he played a trick on Shulayem, and he picked up an abalone shell, and he put some mud in it, and he got a stick, and he did this. And when he looked inside the creek, he laughed. <laughs> he thought it was so funny because he put freckles all over his face. And when all the children were around, he grabbed a clapper stick. And this is what he did. And when Shula Yem saw him making fun of her, she started to cry. And she went to the, to the creek where her grandmother was gathering plants for a basket, and she weeped. Grandmother, <laughs> why do I have all these spots on my face? Why, she didn't like it. She picked up a soap root and she scrubbed her face. Oh. She tried to take off the freckles, but they were not going anywhere. And the grandmother took the soap root out of her hand and said, Chulayam, never question the creator, for you are beautiful just the way you are. And Chulayam, <laughs> she wiped a tear. And then the grandmother said, look, Right out there, see those two leaves? 
One is spotted and one is plain. Which one do you notice? The one with the spots on it? Yes. It is the same one that the butterfly takes and eats and becomes a beautiful butterfly. And then Shulayim wiped her tears again. <laughs> and then the grandmother said, look, look at those two stones over there. One is painted with marks on it and, and one is plain. Which one do you notice? The one that has the markings. Yes. That is the same one that the rattlesnake crawls onto and sheds his old skin and becomes a new and beautiful creation. Oh, by then, Shulayem's spirit was lifted and she grabbed her clapper stick and she was ready to sing when she noticed that little coyote boy. He was behind the, the oak tree and he was crying. <laughs> Nobody likes me. <laughs> Nobody likes my tricks. And her heart melted because she had a good heart. And she said, Mona. <laughs> Mona. And he came close to her. And she picked up that abalone shell. And she rinsed it in the river. And put that clean water over his head because his head was one big muddy mess by now and washed it clean. And as the water dripped down his face, he says, she's everything that everyone says she is. She's so nice. <laughs> she's so kind. I like her. And he looked up. Shulaya? Yes? Will you be my friend? <laughs> of course I'll be your friend. Do you think a dragonfly will ever land on me? Shh, be still. They're coming. And the dragonflies came, and they swirled around, and they got close to that little boy. And then they flew away. They came again, like a whirl. And do you know that one came right here? Shola, yeah, there's a dragonfly on my nose. Look, look, he's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. Look, look, look. And then it flew away. And then the dragonflies came again, and one landed on Shulayem. As always, you see, the little boy's heart had changed. And Shulayem and the little boy, <laughs> they ended up being friends forever. And I'm going to say ho, and you're going to say hey. Ho! <laughs> Good. And that's our stories from the west side of California. Now, if you think about Shulayem, if you've ever felt different, if you ever felt that something was unacceptable to the world, you remember this, that each and every one of you are beautiful just the way you are. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Ha ta ha